Good morning, AP Bio friends. I have an update for you. Super, super recent, important update from the College Board. A couple of important things are changing from what we were told a month ago from the College Board. So I really need you to go to your email and find this document. I've also linked it below here for you, but it's 51 pages. Yikes! We're going to go through the highlights of it right now, but seniors, it's really important that you keep checking Google Classroom because if you will um, keep checking that, if there are any more changes, there shouldn't be at this point because tests are coming up pretty soon. But we're going to do some practice based on the uh, demo that they're going to release on May 4th. So make sure you're checking back, but we're going to go over five important things that they say you need to do before testing. All right. So what's something important that we need to look at? Number one, you need to have an e-ticket. Okay. This is super, super important. It is in your email. And if you haven't gotten it for whatever reason, you can't access your email, or maybe they have the wrong email information. We'll go, go over that in just a second, but you have to have an e-ticket in order to take this test. There are no exceptions. So let's take a look at how do you get to that right here go to this website and you can access your e-ticket here we've already logged on to myap.collegeboard.org you've already done that in preparation um, for our practices but you need to do this if you do not have an e-ticket all right so do it do it do it log on log on you need your ap id let me know if you don't have that. you have to have that e-ticket Hey, guess what? You need an e-ticket. Log on and get it. All right. You know when our time is? Monday, May 18th at 2 p.m. That's when your test starts and it is timed. So make sure you know when your other tests are too. And that information is on this document. There is a June makeup date, but you have to have some big serious hairy reason not to take it in May. So just take it in May. All right. Read this information about what to expect on this year's exams. Um, it's good stuff. It's not integral, but there you go. What to expect. This is a good uh, page to look at. About creating your testing environment. And here's what the, one of the first big changes that I've seen. This is a change from what they told us a month ago. So instead of typing in the box, like what we've been doing, you are going to be either, you've got three options. The first is to copy and paste something that you type on either a Google Doc, Microsoft Word, or something like that. No images allowed. You're just copy and pasting something that you type from someplace else. That's option number one. Option number two is you're going to just create that document and attach it and click submit. All right, so read those instructions. And then option three, you can now handwrite it, take a picture of it, attach it, and then click submit. All right, make sure on each one of these responses, we'll go over this again, that your AP ID and initials and page number at the top of all of these documents that you're doing. Okay, AP ID is integrally important. Don't forget that. We're gonna skip over music theory and world languages and accommodations and makeup. And here we go. Five steps to take before exam day. Number one, you are reviewing your contact information. This is important so they can get in touch with you about your exam results. Also, if you haven't received an email, it's probably because this contact information is not updated. So go to myap.collegeboard.org again. Make sure they, they've got the correct email address for you. And make sure you can get your e-ticket. Hello, you need an e-ticket. Okay. Then step two is you're going to check your technology i would not suggest taking this on a phone people that's going to be dreadful so don't do it 
guess what? Here's the next big change. No lockdown browser. My guess is that they had a bunch of people having issues with this when they did a practice run and they decided skip that. We're not doing a lockdown browser. Hence, change num big change number one that I mentioned before and how you'll be responding. So you can do the creating a document, attaching it and all that. I bet it's because they had issues with the lockdown browser on some devices. So you no longer need that. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. So check your technology. And there we go. Oh, AP Calc. Just a little reminder. I'm sure that Master Wen is going to tell you about this, but you can do handwritten responses. He's probably already given you a heads up on that because he's amazing. So there you go. Make sure you're able to be comfortable with typing your device, uh, typing on your device. And if you're going to handwrite, you need a uh, white paper, either lined or unlined. It doesn't matter. Use number two pencil. Okay. Here's something that's also new. Starting May 4th, we're going to all have access to a demo so you can practice all these shenanigans at this web address right here, cb.org slash AP demo. It's not open until May 4th. So don't try going today and saying, ah, where is it? Okay, because it's not there until May 4th. World languages, you've got a different deal. I don't know if anybody's doing that, but you can check that out later. All right, so what are you going to need? You're also going to need to download your um, equation sheet. Remember that equation sheet that you had for your first couple of tests from me? You will need to download that and have it printed off or have it electronically pulled up somewhere, okay? And you can do that at that same website, cb.org, and it's going to be the backslash AP exam day dots. Those are the documents that you need. Check out what you need in this document for other classes because they've given that to you. All right, there we go. See, there's our AP Bio equations and formulas sheet. And then you can check your list for any other classes that you have. All right. So important dates coming up. May 4th, check your email. Well, actually check your email before May 4th and make sure that you're getting things from the College Board. If not, go back and update. All right. So um, make sure you've got your formula sheet. That's step number four. And step five is to uh, May 4th, check your email. All right. Look what you need to have. We're going to be practicing that. All right, the rest of the document you can read on your own. I think I've hit the highlights. Also, scroll down here because it tells you what to expect on exam day. It gives you a timetable, 30 minutes before, all this kind of stuff. Please read this document. I know it's long, guys. I know, I know, I know. But it's really important for you to understand what this exam is going to look like and what you need to do to get ready for it. It shouldn't be a big deal. Once you've kind of incorporated this information in your brain, it seems like a lot, a 51 page document, but when you start to read through it, they do repeat things and they've got checklists for you and it's going to be absolutely fine. We just need to have you prepared for that. So check your email, May 4th, we can do some practices. Um, Make sure you've got your e-ticket. Hello, you need an e-ticket because I know, I know, I know, not probably from anyone from our school, but some poor soul is going to log on on test day and they're going to wait till 10 minutes before and they're not going to have their e-ticket and they're going to have to go through all kinds of shenanigans and they're not going to get their test score. So I know that's not you people because you're amazing, but check your email, get yourself prepared before the day. It'll make the day much more smooth for you. That's all I have for you right now. Seniors, keep checking back on Google Classroom. We'll go over more as more becomes revealed. Have an awesome day.